I'm going to show you how to open up a test or any reading uh, in Kurzweil and save it for students to access later. So you open up Kurzweil and you'll have to put in your username and password and you enter, uh, you look at this screen. From the screen you go to the open and you find your file. Now the thing about these files is I have found that if you open it as a Word document, so I have uh, a test here that I'm going to open as a Word document. When I open as a Word document, it kind of makes everything off. You can see here that the questions choice A is kind of tabbed to the right and the other choices are here. It doesn't look uh, exactly like the test. Uh, so I don't like to open it as a document. Instead, what I would do is I would open it as a Word document in Word uh, and go to File, Save As, and change it from Word document to PDF. When you do that, uh, it helps a lot uh, with Kurzweil. So from Kurzweil, I go back in here. Here's the same file, but this time it's saved as a PDF file. I open it as a PDF file. It'll ask me which pages I want to recognize. I want to recognize all the pages except the last page, which is just a map. So page one to nine, click OK. And it goes through the process. And you can see down here that it's working through the process of recognizing those pages. Uh, it also zooms really far in. So if you want to zoom out, it's just this button up here. You hover over top of it, it says zoom out, or you can select what zoom level you'd like. Uh, there it goes. You may have to select things to, to get kind of zoomed out to a, to a more reasonable level. Over here, we have uh, the pages, and you can go to the previous pages as well. So as you can see now, those same questions are lined up uh, much like it is on the paper. Makes it a little bit easier for the kids. Now if a kid wants to read a question, they can highlight what they want. Maybe they just want the question read, they can highlight just the question, click read. Then if they don't need every single one read, they can just highlight a single word they need read, or they could highlight a certain answer, or they could highlight all of them. Whatever they select and click read is what it will read to them. Uh, if they need to go back, they can reread. They just highlight what they want read, and it reads it. So it makes it a lot easier uh, to provide that test read accommodation. Um, you can change voices here. I have found that Tracy is the best voice. Keep it on continuous mode. That's the easiest sentence as well. It'll read a sentence at a time. If you just click at the beginning of a paragraph, it's going to read one sentence at each time. So you can see there's kind of a little bit of a pause there in between sentences. So if you keep it on continuous and uh, sentence, that's usually good. 160 is usually good speed. The kid can uh, increase the reading speed or decrease the reading speed depending on how they like it. Uh, if they want to do any highlighting, they have this toolbar here. If this toolbar is not there, they just click on this, this green little uh, toolbar here and it pops up. Uh, they have the these different highlighters. They have an eraser tool. They can do a text, which they just click the text and whatever they want to type, it's going to read each word back to them. Click the space bar, it reads it back. And it will read it right back to the student. That can be helpful for some students. If you don't want this note, you just click on this delete button right here. Um, so those are some, some tools they can use. They can annotate right on a text. If you had a text and you'd like them to do that, they would just have to make sure that they click File, Save As, and save it into their, uh, into their H drive uh, so that they can access it later. Or if they need to, they can go File, Print, and print it to a different uh, uh, copier uh, so that you can uh, see their annotations if you're annotating a text or something. If you wanted to save this, uh, for other students, you just go File, Save As. Uh, the place, general place where it's easily accessible is the Kurzweil uh, drive, the K drive here. You just click on it. You'd want to go to Middle School, Teacher Folders, find your 
teacher folder and then type what it is. This is a grade eight test. And just like that. If you wanted to make your file secure by putting a password on it, you go to file, then you go to uh, properties right there. It's going to give you a little properties message. You just click OK. And then under general, there's this box right here, password for opening document. You could type your password. This one, I'm going to make the password go bills. You can make the password wherever you want. Just make sure you write it down. You click OK. It's going to ask you to re-enter the password to make sure you know what it is. Remember, ca uh, passwords are case sensitive, so I typed in all lowercase, so the student will need to type in all lower lowercase. You click OK, and then you'll just want to click Save to save the, the current file. So now, if this is closed out and a kid opens up Kurzweil, and they find here's, oh, they navigate to my teacher folder here on the K drive, like K drive, middle school, teacher folders, Mr. Lobianco, grade A test, here it is. They find it, they click open, it's gonna ask for that password, and I'll just have to type in go bills, click OK, and now they can access the test. You can uh, change the password the same exact way, file, properties, OK, change the password to something else if you, if you want.